Good day, everyone. Let us now discuss project proposal. It is said here in a quote, the key to a successful project is an organized and a conceptualized plan. This means that in nursing, you should always start with a plan for you to be able to achieve and attain your objectives. Now, how to create a project proposal? First, you have to prioritize and identify problems in the community. Once you have identified, for you to be able to do that successfully, a project proposal should be based on the identified priority problems. And from that problem, you will create solution that will try to address this problem in a form of a project proposal. So what are the parts of a project proposal? The following are the parts of the project proposal. Project title. Project duration. Project scope. Project status. Project beneficiaries. Project background. Project justification, project objectives, project description, project proponent, project implementation plan, project monitoring plan, and project summary. Let's discuss one by one. First, we have project title. Project title must be catchy and substantial catchy in order for you to capture the attention and curiosity of the participants substantial it must include a substance content or idea that is acceptable and informative so that learning will take place and desirable results will come out so how are you going to call your project is a project title. So if you're going to have an example of the project title, you must base your project title on the identified problems and base on the prioritized and identified problems. Like for example, the problem is malnutrition. So you have to address the issue of malnutrition. So in dealing with this, choosing a project title will definitely make your project proposal more appealing and interesting. Like, eat healthy, live healthy. Something like that. Or kumain ng wasto upang buhay ay umayos. But you have to choose a title that could probably be very good and should be acceptable. That will help you achieve or attain all your objectives. So we go to project duration. Project duration, what is the time frame of your project based on weeks, months, or years? Then project scope, where is the site or the location of your project? Next is project status, is a project new or it is an ongoing project that has to be monitored? Or followed up next is project beneficiaries how many can benefit from the project who are the people that may benefit from the project who and how this projects will benefit direct beneficiaries or indirect beneficiaries 
What is the situation? Attitude or characters of the beneficiaries that is involved in the project. Next, we have project background. This will answer the following question. What kind of problem can be answered by the project? When did the problem started? Who are those affected by the problem? In what ways does the problem affect the lives of the beneficiaries? How is the project proposal developed? What was done by the people in order to realize the plan? Next is project justification. This will answer the following. Why is it necessary to solve the felt problem immediately? What causes the problem? What are their effects on the students? How can the project help resolve the problem? And has there been any activity conducted by the beneficiaries to counter or solve the problem? And what is the result? Next is the project objectives. Now, project objectives can be determined as general objectives or specific objectives. Next is the project description. How does the project be made? What is the system to be followed? What are the materials to be used? And where do we get them? What is the maintenance scheme of the project to ensure sustenance in order to avoid major damage or failure? Next is the project proponent. Who will manage and maintain the project? What organization and organization structure? How many are its members? When it was organized. Next is the project implementation plan. This includes activities, time frame, resources, and expected result. For activities, you need to know the action plan. You have to follow the objectives that you have set. And activities should be based on the specific objectives that you formulated. What do you intend to do? What are the activities that will answer or will try to solve problems that is specified through your objectives. Next is the time frame. This refers to when it will be done and who will facilitate the project. Next, resources. When we talk of resources, we are talking about money, material, and manpower resources. And then, the expected result. What are the expected outcomes of your project? Or what are the expected results of your activities? This, you need to know in order for you to be able to determine the success of your implementation plan. Next is the project monitoring plan. The project monitoring plan will try to answer the following. What is to be monitored during the implementation of the project? How much was being spent? Who are working or how many? Who will monitor the project implementation? This is very important. When it should be conducted and how often? What tools to be used during the monitoring? What to do with the result of the monitoring? How to evaluate the project after its completion? And what materials to be used during evaluation? And lastly, 
project summary. For project summary, this will include project title, project location, project objectives, project beneficiaries, project status, project proponent and address, and total project cost. Now note that project monitoring plan is optional depending on the nature of the project. If the project duration is long and the nature of the project needs follow-ups, then monitoring is needed. So if the project's duration is not that very long, perhaps it will take place for an hour, two, or it could probably be implemented in a day, then you you know you don't have to do the project monitoring plan. You can probably skip this part of the project proposal. For the detailed example of the project proposal, please see attached Word file on this module which will be posted or uploaded in Canvas. I hope project proposal is cleared with everyone and uh, this lecture will help you in your next activity on project proposal. Thank you for listening.